Couch in space. Oh, look, it's a couch. Looks comfortable. And it's in space. Cool. Couch in space. Boca. Beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Pulu. Malo Alpito. Welcome Thank you. to space. I love it. Isn't it great? First time traveller. Oh, really? <laughs> they say you travel a lot overseas. Yes. And now you're actually <laughs> over the sea. <laughs> I'm over the moon to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very honoured to have my good friend John Pulu here with Thank me you. today. As you can see, he's a very able musician. I just try to tag along with this little thing. <laughs> Notice so I'm holding it this way. That's because it's got green on the side. And ah, if I turn around, right. you're going to have space in the rattle. <laughs> and that's not going to sound good. It'll open but up a vacuum. Enough rattling on. <laughs> Oh, right. you see, you go there. Oh, we've already lost an audience member. <laughs> Thank you, Poppy. Okay. Good to be here. Yeah, yeah, I understand nice. I'm not the first um, uh, visitor or traveller or passenger. No, you're not. Yeah, no, you're I'm not. offended. I should oh, be really? the first. Well, family first. Oh! So I got I like my son here approach. first, and like um, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of put on the spot. Yes. Again, trying to figure out how this system works. Yes. I don't usually do this, I'm more a behind the scenes person, mm. but I thought I'm going to have some fun and, and basically interview, not interview, but talk with people I like oh, and big friends and mm. have a chat about this, that and everything like that. I don't know what you're going to ask me, so I, I hope it's something that's well, going to be... I've got some burning questions oh, for you, Mr. Oh, burning Pulu. question. Now, everyone knows, a lot of people know John Pulu, just look at his Facebook profile. <laughs> He's it's only 5,000 friends. 25,000 <laughs> friends, and they're just immediate family. <laughs> yeah. So you can, ex you know, the expanse is huge. <laughs> so what made you get into television and the media? Thank you so much. Um, I grew up in South Auckland, and um, I went to a, a private school. Let me stop you there. Uh, yes. Is that a good place to start a, a, your journalism career? <laughs> In South Auckland. Uh, indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first uh, uh, port where we arrived, um, where, when we arrived in New Zealand in the, the late 90s. I grew up in a time uh, in high school, um, a TV show known as Police 10 7 was the program <laughs> that everyone was watching. And, you know, a lot of the, uh, the, the things that um, they highlighted was, you know, they kind of um, mm. uh, reinforced uh, stereotypes of, um, you know, brown people doing crime. Yeah. And I wanted to do something about that. I wanted to show that uh, we're not all bad people. Oh, right. Okay. We are good people as well. So um, so that was a genuine thing that, absolutely, that, yeah. that was my pushed motivation. you towards, that was the motivation. Wow. I mean, um, growing up in a, a place like South Auckland, it's predominantly Pasifika yeah. as well. It's the, it's the fruit salad, you know, people right. from the Cook Islands, Samoa, Tonga, you name it, all in this um, yeah, yeah. area. And, um, you know, it's the home of uh, Polyfest, uh, you know, which is one of the uh, biggest uh, uh, Polynesian dance and music festival right, in the yeah. world. So South Auckland is this, uh, you know, this hub. But anyway, I wanted to do something uh, about that. So um, I inquired uh, during this uh, work experience opportunity mm -hmm. called Gateway at uh, high school. And in my mm -hmm. senior year, I went to TVNZ and I worked on this incredible, groundbreaking, marvellous programme called Tangata Pasifika. We know it well around here. <laughs> we know it very well around Sunday. heard of it. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Saturday morning, 9.30am yeah. on TV1. Um, Did you? So, the, <laughs> so that's when it all started for me wow. because I came to TVNZ and, and, and saw that the fact that Tangata Pasifika yeah. was highlighting and profiling Pacific people in a different light, in a more yes. positive, you know, we're celebrating being uh, brown, being Pasifika, we're yeah. contributing to New Zealand and various fields, mm. not just in sports, but academia and you name it, we were there. 
Yeah. So that's that was the motivation behind me. Um, See, I never even knew that. <coughs> that's something totally new. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So that was my motivation. I wanted to um, help change that uh, yeah. uh, perspective because we weren't always, um, you know, there were, you know, there's always the bad uh, naughty bunch, but um, you know, majority. You know, are, there's naughty bunches everywhere. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We're, well, we're the naughty bunch here. We're, we? we're, we're kind of the naughty bunch here. We're trying to push the envelope of things. I mean, I come from naughty stock too, you know. Mm. Um, you know, I was born in Germany, so oh. you, you couldn't get a nation more naughty at some one stage in, in world history. Yes. But they were so naughty, they came to Tonga. They did because come to there Tonga. There Tongan Germans in, uh, in There's Tonga. There's a lot of and Germans. In uh, yeah. yeah, that's why it, it was amazing because mm. you have a lot of... Um, German last names. I know, and they're brown people. And they're brown people. <laughs> yeah, like it's Muslim. So, what kind of Germans came to Tonga? Uh, they were um, people that built boats. Yes. Um, they're also traders. They brought their goods and that. So, once they settled, they you know they obviously looked Fell at the local. Fell in love with yeah, the local, the local um, uh, beautiful flowers. Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I like <that>. flowers. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that means, but... Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, some, some big flowers. <laughs> big flowers. But, um, yeah, so the, the history of, um, you know, Europeans in yeah. Tonga dates back a long time. Yeah, isn't that yeah. amazing, though, hey? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so they never would have thought that Tonga and German... Mm. Yeah, have that, that I also history. think because brass band uh, and brass instruments is a big deal in Tonga. You go to every oh, church and church. they yeah yeah really? and they have marching bands, but they also have the uh, brass bands in the church. And I believe from my own what? little very weak small um, study, I think it was introduced by the Germans when they came over with the brass instruments. I I, I think. Yeah, ja, wir lieben die Trompete. Exactly what I thought. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And obviously they all followed. Yeah, yeah. Trumpets, mm. brass. Yeah, yeah. So when it's I quite think, a big I have deal. to say, when I think of the islands and you know the beautiful beaches and mm. the hula and uh, the pretty flowers, <laughs> um, I don't really see brass bands. Mm. You'll find them at churches and um, when we have the big national events when uh, oh. our royal family have a big celebration, uh, yeah. you'll you'll find the brass bands are there. <laughs> And, and, the, and they're taught at school, you know, we have competitions and yeah. et cetera. Oh, wow. Yeah. Had no idea. <laughs> and it's good too, because yeah. unlike the uh, pianos and things like yes, that, yeah. that kind of doesn't work too well in hot uh, climate, to, you know, the string starts going a bit yeah, funny. Yeah, right. At least with um, brass instruments, it can withstand any climate. Uh, you know, but uh, that's, that's coming from someone <laughs> who doesn't play brass. But so. it kind of makes a lot of sense. Now, um, John and I, um, we all love our music too, and that's mm. one of the first things that really clicked for us mm. is our love of music. Yeah. I mean, John's music style is totally different to what I kind of appreciate. But music um, really brings it people, does. you know. I mean, even just now at the beginning, you yeah. know, you pick up the ukulele. Yeah. I pick up that thing and, yeah, it all of a sudden it, it comes together and Absolutely. it's all quite nice. It's amazing, though. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what gender, what no. age, you know, music just really brings people together. And that's what I love about the power of music. Yeah. And aren't we... Isn't it amazing at this time in our lives where you've got all this history of music, mm. you know, there is there is no taboo where music's concerned. That's right. You can mix and mash, you can, you can put mm. Oriental in, you can put Islander in, rock and roll, mm. you mash it up, make a make it into a really cool song. Yeah. And it's all fair game. Mm. Yeah, it's, it totally breaks down the stereotypes. Absolutely. So that's what I love about music too. I love it, and I love composing music as well. So. Oh, do you? Okay, tell me Some about Some of that. the greatest hits that I've uh, <laughs> written, Despacito by Justin Bieber and... Uh, okay, no, I'm <laughs> the <kidding. greatest. laughs> um, Yeah, music based on um, love and, you know, talking about... Uh, uh, so do you, do you ever uh, make music based on... I don't know, your island life or yes, your neighbours? Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, not personally, not the, that I've written myself, but uh, some of the, uh, you know, our stories from the past mm. is being um, preserved and told via music. Right. And so I listen to some old Tongan classics and, you know, you hear about, um, you know, what happened back in the day mm -hmm. and, you know, the... So there's there's all these uh, beautiful uh, romantic uh, right. style island like um, music tunes. And ever thought of 
recreating those? I would, l I would like to, yeah. Is that one of the things on your list? It's on my to-do list and, and that's on, um, you know, number one million. Because uh, <laughs> my to-do list... We know how busy you are. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, eventually I'd, I'll get there. And also the other thing is the tackling the language as well, you know. It's mm. a different type of language. It's not everyday language. That right. Because in Tonga we are um, split up into different classes, you know, the commoners, nobility and the king. There's languages for I each. I knew there was a king, but I didn't know there was a class distinction, kind of like yeah. what, England? Yeah, yeah, like really? the English do, yeah. So our whole um, royal family system is mm. derived from the English uh, monarch or the British monarch. Oh, okay. Our first king changed his name to George, after oh, George. Really? <laughs> George from... <laughs> So, um, Do you get married to Meghan Markle? Yeah. <laughs> have a wedding? <laughs> I have my own Meghan Markle already, oh, so yes, yes. I've yes. seen your Meghan Markle. She's a beautiful girl from the Cook Islands oh, yeah. and from here as well. Another singer yeah. too, and they make beautiful yeah. music together. So you'll, you'll probably oh. release a Christmas album or something oh, like that. Oh, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Christmas album, that's a good idea. You're giving me... Uh, <laughs> the I, just add that to the other, other things to, to finish, yeah, to <laughs> complete. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, I mean, music is one of the big things and also television is another huge thing. John and I actually met at TVNZ. I was a lowly editor. He was a big shot reporter. <laughs> no, no. He comes in with his footage and says, yeah. make it work yeah. because the camera guy, I don't know, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Can you save it in post? Mm. And I say... It's a beautiful relationship between reporter and editor because that's the magic just evolves and mm. it just grows from there. I have an idea when I go out and shoot with the cameraman, but then mm. you know I come back and then I go through my um, my interviews and pick which bits that I'm I'm going to use. But uh, when I bring it to the editor, like Daniel, you just oh we should do this. Oh, why don't you add this and you know other little elements that adds onto mm. the to the story to build and build, and then you have this beautiful yeah. uh, final product. That's what the beauty is about production. Um, it is a process, and you you start from an idea really and you shape it and at the end of it it's kind of vaguely resembles what you had intended in the mm. first place hey yeah but the beauty is you don't have to yeah as long as you you take it into a direction like yeah. you go out in a shoot mm. you have your reporter this is the story you want to get you have these shots to mm. play with and then you come into the editing room you add the right music you add the right grabs in mm. you can manipulate it in some way to you know make it a positive or a negative yeah. or dramatic and at the end of it, you have something that feels complete, yes, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And, and that's what I love. That's why I'm in this industry. Um, mm. I got into this industry because I love filmmaking. Mm. And, but at the root of that, I think, is storytelling. Yeah. And at the root of that is collaborative storytelling. Mm. Because you can't do it all yourself. Mm. Hey. No, no. And wow, you've got a great job. Mm. You have this direction, you have a cameraman, mm. a sound guy, mm. you come back, or you, you, you know, you've got your talent, mm. then you've got your post-production facility, and then you've got a stage to actually showcase, which mm. is Tangata Pacifica. Yeah, and everyone gets to enjoy it. Uh, and how do you get the greatest job in the world? <laughs> oh, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm living my dream. This yeah. is my dream job, and um, I'm very grateful that I've been able to do this in the last uh, eight or so years. Right. But, um, you know, this program that I'm part of, Tata Pasifika, it's been around for 31 years. 31, you that's know, amazing. it's part of the family now. Yes. It's a program that uh, generations watch and then, you know, the next generation mm. uh, watch as well. So it's something that I'm very proud of that um, I'm part of that, uh, you know, this movement that uh, we're about um, celebrating and promoting uh, Pacific people here yeah. in New Zealand and abroad. And uh, gosh, I've been, done some awesome, awesome stuff. I'm very privileged to, um, you know, be part of history, from elections Good to funerals see, yeah. to royal weddings to elections, um, meeting the um, uh, sports stars, uh, politicians. Okay, who's the most famous person that you? I think you would be the the most famous. Apart person. from me. Yeah, it's. But that's only because I've got a couch in space, oh, and not right. everyone has that. Yeah, well, back down on Earth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, come back to coming yeah. down, uh, bring, back it down. To, bring it down to Earth. Bring it down. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I think sports-wise, uh, meeting Sonny Bill Williams right. was was quite a highlight because he's done these various sports. You know, he's yep. played from league to um, rugby as well. So um, you yeah, know, uh, but on the other hand, um, you know, media is so powerful that we can make a change and make a difference. So it's um, doing stories where you actually help 
make a difference in the community. So, for example, I love the one of my the proudest stories I worked on is um, uh, helping a family move out of a garage into a proper house. Wow. Okay. And beforehand, they've been applying and getting declined. Um, so, media is also our way of advocating for the for mm. those who can't speak uh, for them for themselves so yes, yeah, it's an yeah. opportunity to address issues that's uh, you know happening you've got suicide we've got uh, uh, youth other youth issues no, as no, well no short of challenges there's really always, in, yeah, there's in, always in society yeah but um, we, we we have this incredible platform mm. but we have this um, you know medium where we can reach a lot of people yeah so um, you know we have to use it wisely but also in a way that uh, helps and give back to the community. Right. And how do you see, because media is changing, just the fact that we're sitting on a couch in mm. space. Uh, we're not on a TV channel, um, but we're doing this in our spare time and <laughs> just just because it's fun. Yeah. Really, that's it. And just to I'm see getting what paid. You're afterwards. getting paid. Am I? In apples. Apples? Mm -hmm. Green or red? Green. You pick. iPhone. iPhone. Did you say you're going to give me an iPhone? Ooh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, Mr. Pillow. <laughs> As... But yeah, that's now I've forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> I think you were going to ask me something about where do I see media and. Oh, yeah, yeah, how it's changing. The media landscape is changing. Mm. Um, you it's know, changed. TV is one platform. Yes. Now you've got the internet. Mm. Say Tangata Pacifica, say in 10 years. Mm. What do you think it would look like? I think we, we, um, we're in this uh, ocean of uh, various mediums. You know, mm. we've got social media as well. Yes. And what we're constantly battling with is that um, people are able to broadcast themselves. You know, this is the biggest, I would say, newspaper, you know, because yes. people are already posting stuff already. So yeah. how do we keep that current? Well, I think the difference with that and us is that we have a, a reliable um, content and we have sources that we can interview and... Very, you know, so that's my way uh, of saying that, uh, right. you know, no matter the fact that people are out there doing their own thing, that uh, we've established this, um, you know, network and this history, mm -hmm. which I think is going to um, still which be valuable. Very broad. I mean, yeah. what, 31 years, you said? Yes. So imagine if you will put up 31 years of episodes mm. of Tangata Pacifica. Yeah. That's an amazing body of work. Yeah. And what a legacy to leave. Absolutely. Wow. And, um, well, yeah, so I, I, I would hope, uh, well, that my future, um, you know, uh, JPs or, or um, little John Pullers in the future will watch yeah. back and be proud of some of the things that uh, I got to do when I was still alive. Yeah. So this is, you know, uh, it's important because for us uh, back in the islands, you know, we didn't have the technology to archive everything and we did it through performance, music, yep. um, you know, some written, but there's a way that we have this audio and visual uh, um, property yes. that can continue on for the future. And Tangata Pacifica, where does it get broadcast to? So, that, so do all the islands get it? And yes. do they get it real time? Like You can watch it Zealand? live on, um, on Facebook, uh, but yep. also um, with the availability of YouTube, we post the oh, but, single stories but, and then people can watch all over. But it broadcasts in Auckland, yes. and then, uh, sorry, in New Zealand and nationally, and then from there it goes up to the Pacific. It's part of the Via satellite, service. so they get the satellite? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's part of um, a TVNZ agreement that we've had for many years. To all the islands? Or? To all the islands, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then from there, the YouTube uh, capability, everyone, even people from, you know, Europe, yeah. America, where our community is at, because they value TP as their way of, a, uh, it's their window of looking back into what's happening. Uh, in the Pacific community, but also specifically here in um, Aotearoa. In Aotearoa, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you've heard it here. That's that's quite amazing. Um, I haven't haven't got any other questions. Oh well, thank you so very tell much. Me. No, no, it's not, it's not over yet. <laughs> oh goodness, me! I was yeah, yeah, looking yeah. forward to having my apple. <laughs> oh, no, no. You'll get your apple very soon. <laughs> oh, that, that's awesome, John. I didn't know about that, you know, and mm. it always. And that's what I admire about the Tangata Pacifica team. We're here at Sunpix Post. We yeah. um, we house these lovely people, and thank, um, you. It, thank you for bringing. And it's it's a it's a long it's a party every day, really. Oh, hey, it really is. And, and we get to call it work. And we get to call it work <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's wonderful. So, what about um, any more music? aspirations for you in the near future? Indeed. Like, are you in a band or anything Not like at the that? moment. I just jam with this guy named Daniel oh, really? at work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a try-hard. Oh, he just, I tell you. I don't know, he just wants to trouble, be eh? an islander. Or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He surrounds himself with all these <laughs> island people. No, and... no, I, I'd like to get back into um, mm. performing. 
Yeah. Um, not just music, but also, you know, if I have a chance to go back onto the stage, do theatre, because I, I, I started doing theatre back in um, high school. Oh, OK. Shakespeare and some other local written projects. Um, so the islanders do Shakespeare as well. Yes, methinks that it's about time. That's it's about uh, time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, That'd be cool. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm an arty person, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. Have you done acting? Like, is that some... Just, yeah, just during high school when I did um, theatre and uh, stage productions. No TV? No TV. Oh, actually, I've, I've done some little, yeah, mm. yeah, stuff on other... TV programs. You have been on uh, Shortland Street playing uh, a rough Otahu who, um, doctor, gangster. Yeah, a gangster. Oh, a, a doctor. Gangster. <laughs> a doctor, <laughs> a doctor <laughs> who's a gangster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll provide some gangster words later on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you've been on TV One. Yes, TV so One. So yeah. you're on the panel like every month oh, or something yes, like that? Yes, so I do a bit on the uh, breakfast program. Mm -hmm. um, so I just. How's that? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, people yeah. who don't know, I mean, we kind of grow up in TV mm. land, but people that don't know television and they mm. see these big fancy um, sets mm. and animations in the background, mm. space, you know, yeah. it all looks very high end and very classy. Yeah. What is it like, you know, to sit in with a panel there? Oh, Are they well, lovely people? Yes, absolutely. The team uh, who hosts the, the breakfast show on TV One, yep. uh, awesome people. And I take my hat off to them because it's a daily. Uh, yes. You know, routine for them to bring the news and, uh, you know, views to um, New Zealanders every morning. Um, I'm just honoured to, to be part of um, what they call the Breakfast Club. Right, And okay. the Breakfast Club is a combination of uh, various people from various industries. Yep. Two people, they come in and sit and talk about the topics of the day, so... Oh, OK. I could just arrive and they're like, OK, we want to talk about this ban of uh, plastic bags and so-and-so, um, changing the, the road names to more Māori names, right, etc. Okay. Yep. And we just add on our views, you know, what, what, we, what we think and... Um, yeah. Do you ever get nervous? Uh, always, always Because it's nervous. live, yeah, so you yeah. do, you've got a oh, person oh, there going three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. I'm always yeah, nervous, I'm but um, <laughs> what I always remember is um, just to uh, be myself and also, um, you know, make sure I get to, uh, my, whatever I'm going to talk about, point across um, to yep. the viewer, but also in a respectful way as well. Yeah. Because, um, you know, we all respect uh, opinions, but, you know, it doesn't mean that everyone's always going to agree with you. What about the, you know, your rival, Marama? Oh, yeah. she's not my rival. She's oh, my yeah. sister. Yeah, no, she I think your you're starting to stir the, yeah. stir the pot Absolutely. here, Absolutely. I've <laughs> seen her, you know, presenting the news oh, in, she's in incredible. breakfast. I'm so I know that you want that to be you, but... Um, I've always wanted to wear a dress and read the news. Yes, <laughs> exactly. absolutely. She beat you to it. Yeah, I know. Damn. Um, I'm so proud of her, and I believe she's the first Tuvaluan uh, really? to read the news, you know, it's a big deal for our community. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, the fact that she represented not only Tuvalu but the Pacific yes. on a more um, uh, mainstream uh, platform, yeah, it's yeah. incredible. It is amazing. And I take my hat off to her because every time she greets the, the viewer, she starts with a Pacific greeting. I hadn't so, even noticed. Yeah, yeah. So I know because you're, you're a Pacific person now. Yeah, so it's probably, probably like, like normal language <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's good to see more of our people, um, you know, we're not just um, squashed or squeezed into Tangata Pasifika. Yes. But also the opportunities are available in other uh, programs. You know, the, the host of Police 10 Seven is a Tongan police officer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Had so, no idea. Yeah. So um, that's just another uh, example as well. But um, You're spreading. Oh, it's good. It, it's Getting good. Getting out there in the and, main and, and, and it's, it's showing that our people are contributing to... Um, to the New Zealand uh, society, and yep. it doesn't matter, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's um, mm. sports, uh, academia, yeah. Yeah, you know, business. Um, yeah, so we, we're doing our bit. Definitely. And we're very much part of uh, New Zealand now, too, because, you know, New Zealand is a Pacific Islander. <laughs> <laughs> we said, yeah, yeah, they're Polynesians as well. No, <laughs> they're Pacific people. But, um, wow. Well, thank yeah. you, John Puller. I mean, we've really gotten into some really good stuff. Thank you. And um, what makes John JP tick? And don't worry, he'll be back. <laughs> uh, we've only just scratched the surface. Yeah. I mean, we could talk and we gander for hours on end sometimes. Mm. And um, it's, I it's hope really we're good recording because we would have just wasted so much time. Nate, sitting are here. we recording? Okay, oh. he's not. He's giving us the nod. Nate's not and even a there. Smile. Nate's oh, not there. He's no, gone. Just pretend there's someone oh. there. It oh, means okay, it's a bigger Nate. production than it actually yeah, is. Yeah, good, good job, Nate. Yeah, yeah. keep up the good work.
Yeah, I think Poppy is the camera. Poppy. Yeah. No, Poppy's Poppy. Lost Poppy's. in space again. <laughs> yeah, lost in space. <laughs> she, she lost interest very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm hoping that you come back again Absolutely. and share some more of your stories and Absolutely. things like that. And, well, you know, couch in space yeah. and here we are. Wouldn't it be great if we can have a wide shot and we can actually travel through space? Yeah, that would be awesome. Day. Yeah, but, well, you know, yeah. humble beginnings and we'll see how Absolutely. it goes. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so JP. much. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. All right. Until next time. See you later, guys. Bon voyage. Couch in space!